We have a leak in the boiler system. You can see here that there's zero pressure. We're gonna be adding clean propylene glycol into the system. The booster pump, it's gonna pull from this black hose and in this red hose, it's gonna go into the system. If you follow the red hose up, you can see the entry point of where the fluid goes into the system. In order to build pressure in a system, I'll shut the valve off here. From the pump, this red hose goes up to the pump here. And when the pump is running, I'll open it up and allow pressure into the system and to go against this stop here. If I wanted to circulate the fluid, I would open up this valve, which goes down into this bucket. When I flip this valve, you'll see fluid coming into the bucket. So the water's coming from this red hose here, going into the system right here, going through the entire system, and then coming back through here on the other side of the system with this valve open, this green hose goes all the way down into the bucket. With both valves open, I can run the pump and circulate all of the fluid through the bucket and get all the air out. Flowing the liquid through this hose here will get the air out. Keep running this until we see no air at all. There could be a few pockets that we'll see from time to time. Those white bubbles are air. Now there's no white bubbles or air coming through the system. If I do encounter an air pocket, the entire level will go down and I'll need to add a little bit of propylene glycol into the bucket. With the pump on, you can see there's about 15 pounds of pressure in the system right now. The white on top of the surface, that's air. So we introduced a little bit of air with some air pockets that were in the system. 20 minutes later, we're still getting some air out of the system. Now I'm gonna go ahead and build pressure in the system. So I'm gonna turn it off here, wait until the pressure builds, and then at the same time that the pump is turned off, I'll shut off this valve. I'll close this valve and the pressure will build. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the pump. You can see the system is now pumped up. Now I'll turn on the boiler. I'll turn on the pumps. The boiler is going through a pre-purge. We have a 45% burn rate. And if we take a look at the burner, you can see that orange, the fire's on, so everything's working. Because I pumped up the pressure, there may be a little bit of fluid that's gonna come out the overflow. We're not getting a lot, but a little bit because the pressure may be just a little bit higher, and if it gets too high, the pressure relief will take care of that. There's a small leak here. You can see the discoloration on the pipe. It's been leaking for about three months. This leak is what caused the fluid level in the system to go down. The system's been on for a while and everything's working, even with this leak. When things warm up outside, we'll pull this apart, get it all cleaned up. Because the leak is very small and it's still cold outside, I'm gonna wait just a little bit and just watch everything. And then once the weather breaks, I'll go ahead and pull everything apart, get everything cleaned up and fix this leak. After the system's been running for an hour, you can see the pressure's down. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little more pressure. To boost in. the pressure, I'll go ahead and close this off. Boost the pressure, I'll put the pump on and this valve on at the same time and then turn the pump off and close this valve. Pump on. So I'll just let it build pressure and then once it's there, pump off. Now I'll open up the loop again and then turn on the boiler. We'll flip it on at the breaker. Turn on the manifold. When we added more fluid, you can see there's less fluid in the bucket now. There's a Schrader valve right up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and Press that and kind of knock any air out that I can at the top. I'm going to get this all cleaned up so I can see exactly where that leak's coming from. The boiler's been running for a few more hours. I'm getting this all cleaned up so I can check and see where it's leaking. It's a very slow leak, so we'll just watch it each day and we'll see where it's coming. From. Boiler's working. We got more fluid in it. We got the air out. Everything seems to be functioning. We'll keep an eye on this little teeny leak here.